It's that time. It's that time. Final car. Let's get this. Where are we looking? Where are we looking? McLaren. Uh, hold on. There we go. 720. Look at this. Alright, we're just gonna go for the for this one. Um I think they're all the same anyway. Yeah. Alright, cool. Same settings here. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah, same settings. Let's take a quick look at the car. Mm. Oh, easy. Uh, here it is, the uh, McLaren 720. Mm. It's got an interesting look to it, but I prefer the 650. If I'm being honest, I feel like it's been it's trying too hard to stand out. This is like these bits here are sort of reminiscent of the Audi R8, but then it's so wide. It's, mm, nah, I'm not a huge fan. It's, it's not bad looking, it's just I just don't. I've, some people are like, it looks amazing. I'm like, mm, I don't really see it. Anyway, cool, here we go. Everybody knows the drill. How much has this got for fuel? 120. Um, all this wing goes up to nine. Oof. Uh, okay, then. All right, let's go. Let's go. Sounds aren't bad, not too bad. Hmm. Very slidey. Like they all come out of the box oversteering except for the Porsche So far I like the um, responsiveness of it.
brakes seem okay. Like I said earlier, obviously the front's got quite a bit, quite a lot of grip, so I'm going to need to take some of that away. Wow, 29.5, that felt like a horrendous lap. I mean, it isn't a good lap, but it felt like it was in the 30, 31s. Yeah, it's Yeah, I'm not too sure about the brakes. We'll go one more lap and then start making some changes. Really fucked up the last corner. Okay. All right then. We'll be doing 28s definitely. Yeah, look at that. Turned in a little bit too early there. Killed my exit. All right then. Um, we will definitely stiffen this up a bit. Gonna go hardest there. We'll go hardest there. Fuck it. Anti roll bar. Um, I don't know. We'll leave that for now. Uh, cam bar. Just need a little bit more grip in the rear. So, what do we go? Oh, actually, let's lower these. Actually, we'll lower these 10 each. One more, and I'd say soften this one and see how that is. And yeah, go on in, let's go.
Obviously, take these um, setting uh, these setup changes with a pinch of salt. They may not suit you. In fact, you, a lot of you guys will probably prefer the original setup. Actually, just for me, I just it's a bit too a bit too pointy. in the front end but it does like rotate quite nicely mid corner and exit see that feels that almost feels like just the right amount of stiffness that I want coming up to mid corner Yeah, I feel like I can start to push the car a bit harder now. There we go. It's like I like the car to understeer going into the corner and then I'll use the throttle to keep it rotating. Because that's what this car definitely has quite a lot of. Not the best exit there. Might be just a tad too stiff. Yeah, a lot of time in this. Ah, I got on the throttle too early. Well, I'm not going to keep this lap. We know I cheated on the first corner. wasn't good.
not a very good lap. But definitely improvements to be made, that's for sure. I think I'm going to need to stiffen it, no sorry, soften the f uh, front a bit more. I think it's just a tad too stiff now. Just a tad. change. I think it's a bit too stiff in the front. So I'll do that. See how that feels. And yeah, we'll see how that feels. But so far the car's not, not bad. It's pretty decent. It's um, quite reminiscent to the McLaren before it, where it sort of, it feels very, what am I doing, always do that, don't I? always, 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 um, take that too tight, like it feels balanced, even when it's like, you know, set up for a little bit of oversteer, a bit pointy, it still feels balanced, like you're able to control the car, like I feel like I'm very much in control of this car, whereas the the M6, even though I was able to do some decent times of it, like I, there were some times when I didn't feel like I was in control of the car, still felt a little bit sluggish. This one doesn't feel sluggish, it feels really responsive. to think that it needs a little bit more turning on, on in the mid corner as well actually
there. See, just around there, it just doesn't quite rotate as good as the other cars. Still plenty of time in this as well. I'm starting to feel like this is, I could be really fast with this, like the fastest out of all the cars so far. Okay, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Okay then. Yeah, probably a tad bit more, um, yeah, a little mid corner understeer. But, pretty decent, pretty decent. Um, yeah. It's a nice car to drive. It is a nice car to drive. I don't think I would be picking it though. But it is a nice car to drive. I think it's one of the... Um, I mean, obviously when you get it set up right, it does feel quite... I wouldn't say easy. Like you could be consistent with the car. I don't know. I felt like with, um, with the Porsche and with this one, when you get it right, it does feel quite neutral and safe-ish. You know, um, the car's not completely trying to kill you like the Aston. Um, the car's not refusing to turn in like the Porsche. Uh, which one? It's kind of similar-ish to the Audi, where they just feel very balanced. So as long as you treat it right, it should be fine. In fact, let's actually take a look at the straight-line speed as well. 
37, eh? Oh, okay, then. That's interesting. 37 there. What's it going to be here? I think the highest was the Porsche with a 42 or a 43. Uh, Aston came through. Everything else was pretty much 41, I think, except bar the Audi, which was a 40. This is 40. Okay, this is 40. Alright, then. Interesting. Let's see the corner speed of this next corner. Uh, it's going to be about 35, 30, 35 maybe. Okay, then 29. This one should be uh, 50. Oh, 147. Okay, then. I feel like, like I said, I feel like there was, I was fighting a little bit of understeer in the mid corner, so maybe soften, um, soften in the front anti roll bar would help there. Um, But yeah, it's a, it, is a, it is a nice car to drive. Not the best to look at, but it is actually a nice car to drive, to be fair. It will treat you right. Um, where would I rank it? Mm, it's not as... Yeah, if I was yeah if I was to pick... If I was to race in the league, the first one I'd pick would be the Porsche. Then I would say it would be either this or the Audi, because I feel like it's not too... It's, as long as you get it set up decently for you, it, it's not going to completely kill you. Um, the BM and the Aston, I can be fast in, but there, there's a lot of road. There's a lot more rotation in the car, so I'm more likely to bin it eventually, unless I get that shit out or get rid of that. But um, but no, it is it's it's good. It's good. It is a nice car. This one it is a nice car to drive. Um, but yeah, okay then. All right, cool, cool. Anyway, I think that probably concludes all the Challenger pack cars now. So I'm going to now that I'm in the mood, and obviously I've just been doing laps around Red Bull Ring. I'm gonna probably go back and do some of the older GT3 cars. I won't do the Radical because I don't like the car. Um, but I'll probably do the Bentley and the AMG and the McLaren. I think. Uh, yeah, I'll probably do, do those three. I won't do them all, just to check them out, see what they're like. But uh, but yeah, definitely recommend this car. I would recommend it if you weren't going to buy the entire pack. I would say yeah, this is a decent car to buy out of all of them. And and if you're like most people who don't really like an understeering car like the Porsche, you're probably your best bet in, in the entire pack is either this car or the Audi. I'd say. Um, they feel really nice to drive and quite neutral. Um, good corner and speed with the Audi. This one, uh, pretty decent as well. Uh, but yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad. Sounds wise, I think it sounds decent. I think it sounds pretty good. Like when you get into the swing of just playing R Factor 2, you find that it sounds like, you know, you, you will be happy with the sounds. It's only when you go to other sims. If you only play... For, if you, when you go to other sims, you're like, like the other day, what did I do? I think somebody asked me for a setup. With um, they asked me for a setup. For what was it? For the Bentley, and obviously I haven't driven the Bentley in racing for ages, so obviously I had to go back in there just to see what was the last one I used. So as I turned it on, and I just pressed, I think I pressed race just to see if the setup would work or not. And straight away, the sound of the Bentley just scared the shit out of me. I was like, oh my god, this is bloody ridiculous. And um, But then obviously, then I go back into here and I try the Bentley here. And don't get me, it does sound good. It just doesn't sound as like deep and raspy and, and raw as it does in, in race rooms. So side by side with that, you're looking at it thinking, eh, it's alright, it's decent. It does a job. But I still think the sounds are pretty good. You know, it's just, uh, just uh, race room just does it better. Um, but in terms of the handling and the force feedback, I think uh, force feedback I like them both. But in terms of the handling, I'm um, to be honest, they're both really good actually. But I, well, I do have to give it to R Factor Two. That I feel like they they are just a little bit above most, if not all, other sims when it comes to the feeling of the cars and the force feedback. So, but anyway. Let me uh, stop uh, chatting nonsense now. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in a bit.